Hi everyone, it's Dr. Bishop here. In this video, I'm going to go over understanding likelihood ratios. To review, we have been appraising a study that looked at the use of multi-detector CT versus angiogram to diagnose coronary artery disease. We already calculated several key values. The sensitivity, which tells us how good the test is at giving us a positive result if the disease is present. The specificity, which tells us how good a test is at giving us a negative result if a disease is not present. We also calculated the positive predictive value, which tells us if we have a, pre a positive test, how likely is it that a patient has the disease and we calculated the negative predictive value, which tells us if we have a negative test, how likely is it that the patient does not have the disease. These are really important concepts, but I'd like to introduce a third concept that helps us put sen sensitivity and specificity together. It is called the likelihood ratio. If we go back to the diagnostic process, in order to use a test to diagnose a patient, we need to know the pretest probability of a disease, that is, how likely is a disease, and we need to know the quality of the test we are doing. Likelihood ratios help us make this link. With those two pieces of information, we can then calculate a post-test probability, that is, how likely is a patient to have a disease after we get the test result. The likelihood ratio is, as, it names, as its name says, a ratio. The numerator is the probability that a person who has the disease has a positive test divided by the probability that a person who does not have the disease has a positive test. The formula for likelihood ratio is sensitivity over 1 minus specificity. We can use the sensitivity and specificity that we calculated before to calculate the likelihood ratio for the multi-detector CT scan. The calculation is 0.85 over 1 minus 0.91, which gives us a likelihood ratio of 9.4. How do we interpret this likelihood ratio? Well, here's a rough guide. Likelihood ratios of greater than 10 or less than 0.1 generate large and often conclusive changes from pretest to post-test probability. Likelihood ratios from 5 to 10, or 0.1 to 0.2, generate moderate shifts in our pretest to post-test probability. Likelihood ratios of 2 to 5 and 0.5 to 0.2 generate small but sometimes important changes in our pretest to post-test probability. And likelihood ratios between 1 to 2 and 0.5 to 1 generate small and rarely important changes from our pretest to post-test probability. We can do a more precise estimate of post-test probability using a nomogram, which is a tool that helps us do calculations for post-test probability very easily using values for pretest probability and likelihood ratio. This is an example of a nomogram. As I said, it's a simple way to see how a test, based on its likelihood ratio, takes a pretest prob probability and changes it to a post-test probability. If we use our example, we can see that the likelihood ratio for the multi-detector CT was 9.4, where I've drawn the dot. Now let's say that the pretest pop probability for a patient, that is, how likely we think the patient has the disease, is about 70%. That seems reasonable for our patient because he had a chest pain and a positive stress test. If we draw a line between the pretest probability through the likelihood ratio, we can generate a post-test probability of about 95%. We can also change the pretest probability and see how that changes the post-test probability. What if we had a patient who, had, who was much younger and didn't have convincing symptoms, we would have a lower suspicion of disease, say about 10%. If we calculate the post-test probability, again using the likelihood ratio that we calculated before, we can see that the post-test probability is much lower, about 
which means that even after the test, the patient only has a 50-50 chance of having the disease. This demonstrates how important the pretest probability is to help us decide whether a patient has the disease after we get the test result. There's a copy of the nomogram on Canvas that you can download and use in class. That's diagnostic tests in a nutshell. The terms that I'd like you to understand are sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, pre-test probability, likelihood ratio, and post-test probability.